there are two types of Android users, those who use gesture navigation and those who prefer old school buttons. Even though my first Android device, the 2010 HTC Desire, had actual physical buttons, I've been converted to gestures since Pixel 5 and haven't looked back. Today, we'll check how to quickly switch from buttons to navigation and back on the Samsung Galaxy A54, a mid-range device from Samsung that I've been using for the last few months. The normal way to do it is go to settings, find the display menu and scroll down to navigation bar. In there, you'll have the choice between buttons or swipe gestures. If you go with buttons, you have two options for the button ordering. Either the back button is on the left or on the right. Up to you which option you prefer. If you go with swipe gestures, you can click on more options to configure it further. You can either go with swiping just from the bottom, which basically replaces the old buttons, or you can use the more traditional swiping. The swiping up goes to home screen, up and hold shows the recent apps, and swiping from left or right goes back. Just remember that Samsung also has the sidebar on the right with some quick access icons. There's an extra gesture to open Google Assistant if you swipe from the bottom corners inwards, which might come in handy. Finally, you can control the gesture sensitivity in case it's either not recognizing the gestures or causing accidental gestures. If you ever forget how to find this menu again, you can also use the search functionality of One UI. Just go to Settings, click on the search icon, and type Navigation. There, clicking on Navigation bar will show you that menu, but you'll have to click again. So to get there even faster, click on Navigation Type in the Display section. You'll go straight to the Navigation menu. You can also try your luck with Bixby. My first few attempts weren't successful. Navigation buttons on. I can't help with that yet. I'll keep learning to improve your experience. Navigation. Open navigation menu. Here's all the results I found for that. This took me to the navigation search, which was an improvement. Change navigation type. Taking you to the setting menu you are looking for. This actually took me to exactly where I wanted. However, Bixby is way too finicky for now, and until it starts using generative AI features, it's best to disable it. Check our video about it linked below. That's it for this quick video. Make sure to check our other Samsung A54 tutorials. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks to see more videos from us, especially the upcoming coverage of the Pixel 8 Pro from Google. But for now, thanks for watching.